Welcome back to Tech Report, and we're about to check out a world first that could go down a treat here in sunny South Africa. It's the first laptop ever to be powered entirely by the sun. No fossil or nuclear fuel needed. So guess what? You're just like Superman. Because much like the natures of planet Krypton, human beings and other living things are sustained by sunlight. Hmm. It powers life, and thanks to new solar technology, it also powers this laptop. WeWi Telecommunications Inc., a small software developer from Ontario, Canada, are the makers of this audacious new project. Sol is the world's first sun-powered laptop. It requires no grid plug-in, it's durable, earth-friendly, and a real laptop computer, powered 100% by the sun. The remarkable thing about Seoul is that it was developed to help enhance education in developing countries where there's limited or no access to electricity. It came from a statistic that said one in four person on this planet doesn't have access to electricity. Now if you take that, um, that message and you, you expand it, you realize that for a lot of countries, particularly in a develop, underdeveloped country, trying to do anything in that, in this, under the ICT frame is very difficult because if there's no electricity, it means that they don't have access to computing, which means that they cannot achieve any of the ICT goals that they set out to do. Equipped with a detachable solar panel charging device, the detachable arrays need to be facing direct sunlight for about two to three hours in order to fully charge. So we were aware that the sun may go down one day and then you will, so we put a battery in the, in the laptop. So what happens is when the sun is up, you charge, you process part of the energy that you get goes to charging the battery. So once the battery is fully charged, you actually get eight, up to eight hours of work. So you can actually work with it when the sun goes down till morning. The first challenge was trying to find a processor that doesn't consume as much power because we needed to build this from the bottom up. So we started looking for a processor that consumes less power, then go to the motherboard that consumes less power. Then from there, we actually decided to create a solar panel that will actually work with that combination. So the challenges were actually picking the parts that will work together with the solar concept. Sol is powered by South African produced Ubuntu Linux, making it easy for even a novice to operate. So we created the, the laptop to work primarily with all the operating systems available, but our preferred operating system was Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux-based uh, operating system which is common in the open source community because we also were aware that a lot of the places that we were trying to sell the laptops didn't have enough money to buy software. So we wanted to promote the idea of the open source community where they can tap into the free software that's available. Though this feat of engineering was developed to provide for those with no access to electricity with computing, Sol boasts many practical applications for all adventurers too. With durable, reinforced materials and complex industrial design, the laptop will survive conditions on land, air or sea. It's built to be indestructible. We have various editions of uh, Soul. We, we wanted to put the idea of robustness, so we, want, we went to that direction. So we have one that actually works underwater. But we have the various versions of Soul and various permutations based on what the user wants and even color. We can even change the colors and uh, uh, offer different designs. Soul promises to be affordable and will provide lasting, sustainable green computing to the communities, providing anywhere availability at any time. And it's all thanks to that giant ball of fire in the sky.